House in the state of Louisiana has refused to pass legislation that would ban child marriages, or at least uh, have a age restriction, an age restriction where uh, someone would have to be at least 16 years old in order to get married. Right now, there is no restriction at all in the state of Louisiana. And uh, while the Senate wanted to do something about it, the State House was like, mm, not so fast. So to give you the details, the Senate crafted a bill by uh, Senator Yvonne Dorsey uh, Colum, a Baton Rouge Democrat, that would bar anyone under 16 years old from being able to marry in the state. With those who are 16 years old or 17 years old, unable to marry someone who is more than four years older than they are. So uh, there's two different parts of this, right? First of all, if you're under 16, you don't get to get married in the state of Louisiana, which I think makes a lot of sense. Uh, the second portion is, well, if you are 16, you're not allowed to marry someone who's like 35. Because that's just, there are issues there for mm -hmm. obvious reasons. So while the Senate was in favor of this, it did stall in the state house. The house refused that idea, instead rewriting the legislation to continue requiring parental consent for anyone under 18 to marry. A judicial review process would be required before anyone under 16 years old could get married. So what is the rationale behind this? Well, first, I wanna hear from State Representative Landry, who is siding with the House here in uh, refusing to pass the common sense legislation. Let's hear what she has to say. I'm just, I mean, what if, what if the, um, they're pregnant? And is there an exception for, for allowing the ju a judge or is there a parent? Why Not couldn't any. two 16 year olds get married if they had a baby? Under this, they would have to wait until they're 17 and they could get married. And why would we want to do that policy that would not provide for the child having the benefit of being born in a marriage? I don't see that as a good state policy. If they're both 16 years old and they can consent to sexual relations at 16 and, they ha and they're about to have a baby, why wouldn't we want them to, to be married? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know, think you I could. know. I know couples who are married now who got married at 16 and had and had you know successful marriages. Mm. No you don't. Mm. No you don't. I mean mm. I I don't think that it's impossible but no I just don't believe her. And secondly, I think that the occurrence of two 16-year-olds who in her mind having a child out of wedlock is way worse than passing legislation that would protect the vast majority of children that get exploited under the lack of regulation here, yeah. right? To her, it's like, well then, but we could prevent teenagers from having children out of wedlock. We can mm -hmm. you know, encourage them to get married at 16. First of all, you should be thinking about ways to prevent the 16 year old from getting pregnant, mm -hmm. you know, through comprehensive sex education, making birth control uh, available and accessible. Abortion. But anyway, those, those are just my thoughts. What do you guys think? No, I, you know, with that, because you're absolutely right, that whole push for marriage and being married, that's actually pushing the biblical morals on mm -hmm. people again and kind of yeah. just doing it in a little coded way. But also, this is child marriage. They can't rent a car, they can't lawfully sign a contract. They are children, this is problematic. Not only are they robbing their youth from these young people, but they're continuing to create this system essentially where girls are kept from getting education that they need. They also end up being separated from their family. 70 to 80% of these marriages under the age of 18, they end up in divorce. There is a lot of loss and a lot of suffering and also the statistics for spousal abuse. It triples the chances of spousal abuse. It doubles teens chances of living in poverty when they get married under the age of 18. So. Let's all really think about this. It doesn't serve the child's best interest. Mm -hmm. So why do it? I feel like we're going backwards. We oh, all, we're, we're going from the Handmaid's Tale to the Hunger Games. It's like the all, all of this stuff is. I was forced to get married because I got pregnant and I, I'm divorced. You know what I mean? I think about this stuff and I'm like, yeah, they can't buy. They, they can get married, but they can't buy a beer. No. And it's it's so ridiculous because. 
And sometimes you need that beer to deal with your husband. To deal with your husband. Yeah. Like, just you. to take the edge off. I'm just kidding, my husband's great. No, <laughs> he is, he is. But you know what I think about is, I know it sounds conspiracy theory, Esque or whatever, but a lot of these laws are to benefit these old white men mm -hmm. who have been able to do whatever they want with whoever is beneath them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, these young girls are the currency that's being exchanged, you know, and it's just preposterous. This lady sitting there pushing, like you said, her religious, here we go again with you pushing that religious. A perspective on people who may not very well believe in that, but it's just like setting young girls back. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, some more stats that I like for this. Uh, well, I do not like the stats, but people who get married under 18, girls 50% more likely to drop out of school. And also girls 15 to 19, twice as likely to die in childbirth than a woman in her 20s. But the right wing is really pro-life. Like oh, just yeah. keep God. That, keep that in perspective. And they have a 12 year old got married in Louisiana. Yes. Their brain isn't Come fully on. developed. It doesn't no. happen until you're older. And I, I just, the way that she really framed that question, you see the black woman was so frustrated. Yes, yes. she was. She was like. You saw her change in stance. It's amazing because again, on one hand, when it comes to the abortion debate, they'll claim that they want to protect children. Yes. In this case, you literally have children who need to be protected and they're not willing to protect them. Nope, not mm -hmm. from, and it just allows sexual predators to conceal rape and assaults and to dominate these children yes. who can't make decisions for themselves. They should be with their family. And also we hear stories of mothers dealing away their children for drugs and all of these things going on where kids are abused. So essentially, again, mm -hmm. as you pointed out, Ida, it's essentially allowing children to be used as currency. And it's not okay, and it is backwards, cuz what? New Jersey passed a law, Delaware, that it's illegal to be married under the age of 18. And I'm cool with that. We could even raise it to 25 or maybe 35. No, no girls girls yeah. but And I'm tired of the argument that I know people that got married when, you know what? There, there was a time when men used to hit women over the heads, wear rocks and That's drag right. them into a cave. We've evolved. Stop using what happened back in the day where people didn't have a choice. Women didn't have a choice yes. and have stayed, have, they've just rode it out with the person that they were with because they've been brainwashed to believe that that's what they're supposed to do. And stop trying to impose that on the future. Exactly. Let the future blossom forever. And, and anecdotal evidence means nothing, right? You have to look at the broader trends, which Adrian did and gave you those statistics of what's likely to happen. If you know one, maybe two couples who were high school sweethearts, they got married young and they're doing fine now, great. But that is an exception, yeah. which proves the rule. Yeah. Uh, so we're and they're probably lying to everybody because we know these people drink copious amounts at night to be able to tolerate one another. But and they <laughs> sleep in separate beds like Lucy. Exactly, and, and they have the little you know side pieces and <laughs> now, whatnot. Now we're but that's our fine. Own stuff that's fine. To no, we're doing what they're doing. You want to you want to take hey. us back there? We'll go back there with you, Fred and Wilma. They don't hey. sleep in the same bed. Here we go. On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.